when US-41 was put there back in 1958. It was configured for suburban speed and is still configured for suburban speed today. There's no Island Park, there's no Marina Jack, no Ritz-Carlton, no high-rise condos back in 1958. By 1962, just one bayfront condo there with just a pier out into the bay. 50 years ago, just a few one-story homes on Golden Gate up in the right-hand corner of this uh, 1962 photo. So US-41 along the bayfront then had just water west of the highway. It was configured for suburban speed. That's what they did in those days. And it has been high speed ever since with signalized intersections up and down the two mile corridor. But we are urban now and we will be urban forward. A beautiful, attractive, modern urban city with a traffic problem. A conflict of use between through traffic and local vehicles and walkers and runners and cyclists with air and noise pollution as well as aesthetic concerns. Time to rethink this US-41 corridor. How to work best for all users. It is the lifeline for the region. It's important. What's best there for the next 50 years in what is now clearly an urban setting? Well, the way a road is designed controls speed. Far more than the posted speed limit. Drivers go as fast along the roadway as the roadway lets them. And speeds along there today exceed 40 miles an hour. Even faster than that in off-peak hours. Accidents happen. Like this speeder in the northbound lane who rolled his car over the median into the congested southbound lane landing on his top late one afternoon. The afternoon of January 13th this year. Backing up traffic far up almost a Gulf Stream. This is the 2020 master plan that reconnects uh, the downtown and the bayfront. And to reconnect not only uh, the downtown and the bayfront, but also to connect the neighborhoods and the Keys. Uh, it completes the 2020 master plan to better connect all of these elements. Uh, the corridor extends two miles from 14th Street to Osprey Avenue. The more pronounced features are landscape medians, and a series of five state-of-the-art roundabouts. This is not breaking new ground. Uh, roundabouts in series are traffic treatments that have been very successful elsewhere in the USA. I've done so in Arizona and Washington and Indiana and New York and Colorado where they too had conflict of use like we do between through traffic and uh, other users like tourists and pedestrians and cyclists. And that's a brief look at the situation we're in today.